Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with Ross Benjamin, SBR contributor, and today we're going to be looking at that baseball game between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Tampa Bay Rays. But first off, how you doing this morning, Ross? Everything's going very well. How about yourself, Dex? Can't complain, can't complain. We did good with college football and NFL, so let's see if we can do better with baseball now. Uh, Ross, let's start by looking at the listed pitchers for this game. Right now, the Blue Jays are calling up on the knuckleball specialist, R.A. Dickey, who's displayed some poor gameplay as of late. Nothing compared to the Cy Young Award winner that we saw back in 2012. Now, as for the Rays, they're giving the nod to Jeremy Hellickson, who's had a short 2014 campaign since starting the season in the DL. But what else can you tell us about these guys, Ross? Well, R.A. Dickey, as you alluded to, this guy was a Cy Young Award winner in 2012 with the New York Mets, and since he signed with Toronto, has not lived up to his expectations. He's been poor over his last five starts, going one and four against the money line, and he's seen four of those five starts go over the total while posting a lofty 4.40 ERA. Dickey has been victimized by the long ball all season long, and he's gone 0-3 against the money in his last three starts at Tampa Bay with a large 6.00 ERA. Jeremy Hellickson, like you also touched upon, he's had an abbreviated 2014 campaign due to starting the year on a DL. But in those eight starts he has uh, started this season, he's posted a stellar 2.96 ERA, and he's seen 21 it was 27 career starts at home go under the total when he's facing a team with the winning record and Toronto comes into this game at 60 at two games over 500 excuse me and they qualify in that situation so Hellickson has pitched very well considering the short time he's had to work with this season right now Rust, um, how about you tell us what you've seen from uh, both these teams in 2014 so far and what do you expect to see from their performances heading into the final month of this season well, I would say that both of them have been extremely disappointed. These are two teams we thought would be vying for the AL East crown instead of being third and fourth place teams. The Rays have been the fir- fifth, excuse me, worst team to wager on in all of baseball decks. Only the Rangers, the Red Sox, the Diamondbacks, and Rockies have been worse than the Rays as far as wagering on them on the money line. All they have to do is look at their miserable. 31 and 38 record at home this season and that ultimately deprived them from being a serious threat to the playoff race the toronto blue jays enter this series with a modest two-game winning streak however even with that two-game winning streak this is a team that's gone nine and 17 over the last 26 games and they fell to now five and a half games out of the final wild card spot in the al and it's not looking good for them with just 26 games left to play all right, so taking that into account, what are we expecting to see here? Maybe a money line, run line, or maybe even a total play? I'm going to give a small edge here to the Tampa Bay Rays, minus 125 over Toronto. I just like Hellickson much better than Dickey right now, and uh, I'm going to take a shot with the Rays here as a small money line favor. All right, good stuff. Thank you once again, Ross, and we'll talk again tomorrow. Thank you so much for having me, Dax. And uh, for sportsbookreview.com, this is Dax Floyd.